Hello, hi crafters. I'm so excited to be here today to share a really fun and interesting art project with you. By simply using the letters of your name, I'm going to show you how you can create a cool and colorful alien creature, something like these ones. Are you ready? Let's get started. Activate your creative mind, warm up your fingers, and if you need to, grab a grown-up for some help. My name is Tara and I work at the Ottawa Public Library. Bienvenue à Après Artistique, présenté par la Bibliothèque publique d'Ottawa. Welcome to Crafternoon. Now before we begin, it's a great idea to round up all of the materials you're going to need to complete the project. Here is a list of what you will need to create your alien name creature. You will need a sheet of white computer paper. Now, if your name happens to be longer and has several letters in it, you may decide that the regular computer printer paper is not long enough. So if you have some legal sized paper at home, it's just a little bit longer than the letter size. So that might be a better choice for you if you have a long name to write. A pencil, an eraser, an assortment of colored markers. And you'll notice here that I have a nice variety of highlighters as well as just regular markers. So at the end of the project, when you're coloring in your alien, it can be fun sometimes to have some neon colors. So that's where the highlighters might come in handy. If you don't happen to have any colored markers at home, that's okay. You can always use pencil crayons or wax crayons and they'll work just fine for this project as well. As some finishing touches, you may also want to have these items on hand. A glue stick, some scissors, and a sheet of colored construction paper. Okay everyone, now that we've got all of our materials together, we're going to start with our first step. So we're going to take our sheet of white paper and we're going to fold it lengthwise along the longest side of the paper. Take your time to match the corners up nicely to create your center fold. You can use your fingers to smooth down the fold line because we want it to be a nice deep fold line that we'll be able to see later on. There we go. Great. Now we're going to find our pencil and we're going to write our names on this sheet of paper. You can use block letters or you can use cursive writing. The choice is up to you. So my name is Tara. I only have four letters in my name, T, A, R, and A. So I'm going to space them out nicely because I can take up a lot of room to write my name. You'll notice that I'm coming right down to the fold line when I'm writing my letters in pencil. And if you make a mistake, you can always use your eraser and start over again. If your name happens to be longer, you may want to make your letters closer together and you'll probably start right at the edge of the page and space your letters out so they come all the way to the other side. I did mention earlier that if you want to and if you have access to it, you may want to use a sheet of legal size paper which will give you just a little bit of extra room. Okay, great. We've written our names. Now you're going to take a nice dark marker if you have one. And if you have a thick tip marker, that works really well. If you only have thin tip, that's okay too. Just make sure that you have a nice dark color to work with for this step of the project. And you're going to trace over the letters of your name that you've just written in pencil. You wanna make sure again that you come right down to the fold line. So when you're doing this, the fold line should be the closest to you, not at the top. You want it 
on the bottom here. If you don't have markers at home, you can use wax crayons or pencil crayons for this project. They'll work fine as well. Pencil crayons generally have a thinner tip, so you may have to go over the lines a bit to thicken them up, but it'll still work as long as you use a dark color for this step of the project. Okay, I've written my name, I spaced it out nicely. Now I'm going to flip this over and I'm gonna make sure still that this fold line is facing me or facing you. You wanna make sure that the fold line is at the bottom when you're writing your name. We don't need our pencil anymore, so you can put that away. You're going to take your marker one more time and I'm going to just press down a little bit and ask you if you can see any ghost letters shining through from the other side of the paper. I can see now some marks here. This looks like my T and I see an A here and an R and an A but you'll notice now that those letters are backwards so they're in reverse order. What we're going to do is take our marker and we're going to trace what we see through the paper. They're sort of like ghost images of the letters. Okay, so do it nice and slowly. You don't have to rush through this step. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see the letters. And if that's the case and you really can't see them, you can always bring them by a window and the light from the window will shine through the paper nicely and you'll be able to see them much more clearly. There we go. Okay, I've completed my name, but my letters are now in reverse order. T-A-R-A. -A. We're ready for our next step of the project. Everybody, now that we've completed the first few steps of the project, here is where the fun really starts. So what we're going to start by doing is opening up our sheet of paper and we're going to turn it so that our fold line is now running from top to bottom. Now I want you to take a good look at this interesting shape. Now yours might not look exactly like this one, but you are going to have a really interesting mirror image of your name. So depending on the letters in your name, you may end up with some different looking shapes. But what you're going to do now is to take your thick marker one more time, and you're just gonna join any of the lines that aren't quite touching. There we go. These two R's are coming together in the center, so I'm just going to join them together a little bit better. And these two, the bottom of these two A's, and finally this little section here. Okay. Now I want you to study the shape that you have in front of you. Again, it's not going to look exactly like this one. It's going to look like your own name in a mirror image. So what we need to do now is really use our creativity to think of how we can turn this shape into an interesting looking alien. Now, for my name, I already see that these two circles, which are in fact the two A's, the first A's that appear after the T in my name, they kind of look like eyes to me. And the little section here almost looks like a beak. So I'm gonna emphasize the beak because I think it would be neat to have an alien with a bit of a beak. And I think I'm just gonna put two little circles here to kind of give these more of an eye kind of look. Okay, now what else do I think my alien could have? Um, well, what if I add a few ears here? I'll add one over here on this side. And whatever you do on one side, you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna add another ear over here and I'm gonna try and make it look 
almost the same as the one I just did on the other side. There we go. It's starting to take shape, I think. Now at the top here, we could do anything. We could add some horns. We could add some crazy hair. We could have some antennas coming out. So maybe we'll add an antenna here. And I'll just put a circle. And again, whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other side too. There we go. Hmm, what else could I add? Maybe he could have some kind of a horn over here. And some kind of a horn over here. Okay. Now what about some funny looking eyebrows? That might be interesting. Kind of a zigzag here and a zigzag there. Here a zig, there a zig, everywhere a zigzag. All right. Um, okay, now this is starting to really look like a head. So I'm just go, gonna go ahead and join that line to the ear. There we go. So you just kind of go along like that and try and figure out how you can make your shape look more like some kind of a creature or an alien. Okay, uh, now I think my alien needs some arms and some legs. And so I think, uh, let's see, what could I do here? Uh, I'm going to do a squiggly line like this. And I'm going to give him, let's see, maybe a little shoulder. Make these look like some kind of bubble arms. And maybe we can add some kind of interesting fingers here. All right, I like the way that's looking. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side for the arms. Give them a bit of a, a shoulder and some kind of bubble arms and some interesting looking fingers. You know what? Since he's an alien, I'm going to give him six fingers. There we go. I'm going to join this down here to make that part of his body. And now I'm thinking I'm going to add some legs. What should his legs look like, I wonder? Um, I think I'm going to make them look kind of like flippers. There we go. And I'm going to try and do almost the exact same thing on the other side, too. There we go. Fantastic. Let's have a look. Okay, now this is an interesting looking alien. Now, I think we're ready to add some color. What do you think? I think if we add some color, this little guy is going to start to look really, really cool. Let's bring out the markers. Okay, so here I have my nice assortment of markers. Now if you don't have any markers, that's okay. You can use waxed crayons or pencil crayons, work just fine for coloring this in. And you can even use paint if you have some. So it's up to you, but markers work really well. So now you're going to decide how you want to color in your alien, and we're going to start coloring this in right here. So I'm going to start coloring the antennas in. I think red would look nice with the purple. Great. So I'm going to continue coloring this and I will see you in just a few seconds to show you the finished product. Okay, crafters, I've just finished coloring in my alien name creature with my basket of markers, and look how amazing it looks. It's hard to believe that my own name is hidden in here somewhere. I wouldn't even know that unless someone told me. Okay, we're going to take the markers away, and I'm going to show you how you can finish your artwork. 
Now you might like it just like this and that's fine. But if you're going to give this away as a gift or maybe put it on your wall, you can select a sheet of colored construction paper, get your glue stick out, put glue on the back of your artwork, and affix it nicely on your sheet of construction paper. Okay, now there's a second option if you want to make it even more interesting. You can fold your paper up again so that you only see half of your alien and you can take your pair of scissors and what we're going to do is we're going to trim around the shape of the alien but we're going to leave a little bit of white so that we get a nice contrast against the color of the construction paper when we open it back up again. All right. So you don't have to be really exact with this. You just want to leave a little bit of white around the side edges here. Now, I don't even need to go all the way up in here, but you can if you want to, depending on how hard you want to work and how much you like using scissors. And we're just going to continue trimming around the hands and the six fingers. <laughs> and around the bubble arms and around the ears and going up now towards the head there we go and I'll take a little section out here and a little section out here all right we don't need those scrap paper pieces anymore and now we're going to open this up again. And as you can see, it really makes the shape more obvious. So what you could do is then glue your alien name creature and center him nicely into the center of your colored construction paper. And then that would become your final work of art. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this. And let's say goodbye. Well, I think you'll agree there are so many interesting things about this cool art project. First of all, how fun is the idea of creating an alien creature with your own name hidden inside of it? Now, if you enjoyed this activity, you may want to experiment using the names of your friends or your family members. It may even be a great idea for a handmade birthday card or a unique artistic gift for somebody special.